in. Um, trying to think what else. Um, it's very hard to pick a favorite favorite game. I guess. I guess it. I'd have to go depending on uh, genre per se, because I play like just about every kind of game that exists. Like, I play puzzle games, I play educational games, I play RPGs, I play shooters, racing games, etc, etc. So it's hard to just kind of, like, nail one down. <coughs> I hate having to lean forward because the chair squeaks, but I need to get my snacks. Need my snacks so I don't die. Ugh. Kingdom Hearts is a little weird to get into, though, because, like, if you don't play all the games, there's bits and pieces that you can miss, and some of the games were handheld, except for now. Like, now they're, I think it's both on Xbox, PC, and uh, PlayStation, because it was originally on PlayStation anyways, so. But you can buy a big bundle where it's Kingdom Hearts 1 all the way to 3. So you can get them all and then, you know, play them one after another and get the full gist of the storyline. Oh, we got aggro. Ooh, yes. Hmm. So we did that. We did that. We did Olympus. There's nothing that way. So now, do we want to go... Yeah, we're going Halloween Town. Fuck it. Oh, let's see here. 400. 370. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I've got a, got a decent library going. That's why it's so hard to pick. Like, I find most people, they'll sit there and they, they're they usually stuck to set games. Like, most people who are Call of Duty people are usually just shooter people or, like, sports game related. Like, a lot of people who are into, like, 2K and stuff like that, like, that's their their genre. Or, like, you know, if they're, they're a COD junkie, like, they're COD all the way, that's... And not always, obviously, because, you know, there there's always the exceptions. But, like, then they're usually just COD for the most part. But, like, I'm just... I've been playing too many games. Oh, if you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, I definitely recommend it. It's a very, very good series. Like, the gameplay is fun. There's, like, so much stuff to do. The storyline is great. I was very skeptical at first, especially back when it first came out, because I was very anti-Disney back in the day, just because it was, I guess, the cool and edgy thing to do. <laughs> but Disney I was... was the cool and edgy thing to do? No, to hate. I, oh. hate, I, hate, I hated Disney. Like, I was very, very not Disney. I love Disney now. It's the same way with when I was in, in high school anyways, where I was very anti-pop anti and anti-everything else besides, like, hard rock and metal music. But, um, like, I was very... I, I didn't want to play it just for the fact that it was Disney. I was a, I'm a huge, huge Final Fantasy fan. I was a huge, huge Square fan. So I was like, oh, like, why would they do something like that? Like, how could they do that? And I was like... Uh, and then I was just like, fine, I'll give it I'll give it a try just because it's them. Gave it the, gave it the benefit of the doubt and fucking... I, it was amazing. Like, it... It's... The, the storyline and everything behind it is 100% Final Fantasy. It's literally just the characters and, like, the worlds. Because you go in and it's, uh, they basically take a little bit from, like, the movies and stuff that the, like, the characters and stuff from Disney are based off of. Because obviously you're going to their world, so you have to have, you know, their story in there. Because the, the main villains and stuff are the Disney villains, but things are slightly different because they're using the enemies and stuff made for this game. But, like, the background and, like, the lore 
and stuff like that is very, very square soft and very, very Final Fantasy. <coughs> the thing that bothered me a little bit was when they started taking out the Final Fantasy characters because they also added those in kind of the same way they were throwing the Disney characters in. But then the last game, they took them out, which was kind of a piss-off. But I understand why they did it, because they're trying to get away from Final Fantasy, and they're trying to make it its own thing. And I hope they do it right. Like, they've got the background for it and stuff like that. But, like, I feel like at the start of it, and, like, for the most part, like, midway through, Final Fantasy really played, like, a big part in it. So it kind of hurts me a little bit, especially since, like, my favorite boss fight in, like, the main series is the, the Sephiroth fights. So when they didn't have that in 3, I was very, very upset because the Sephiroth fight was, like, the be-all, end-all. Like, you got it to the end of the game and you're like, okay, now to find Sephiroth to see exactly how hard he is. But, uh... But, like, they take a little... They, they twist the main story for the the world, the Disney worlds. But, like, I'm definitely, like, wholeheartedly on board with this game. Like, they just they just announced 4. Like, if you get the chance to check out the, the trailer for 4, the update and graphics is insane. Like, the leaps and bounds that they do for the, the graphic updates are nuts. Like, from 1 to 2, it's a giant one. And then from 2 to 3, it's even bigger. Obviously, you know, the consoles play a big part in that, because one, I believe, was on PS2. I can't remember. It might have been a PS1 game. I'm going to search that up right quick, because I want to remember. Uh, da, 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 2002 role-playing game. Yeah, PlayStation 2. So, 1 and 2 were PS2 games. Uh, then, 3 obviously came out for the PlayStation 4. The ones in between 1 and 2 are handheld. I think one was PSP and one was the DS. I can't remember. And then, between 2 and 3, <coughs> there's two handheld games. And then, they... Uh, made 2.8 which was a, a little one they made just for in between 2 and 3 I haven't I actually didn't play it yet so it'll be fun to play that for the first time on stream then 3 was PS4 then 4 is obviously going to be PS5 PS6 I don't know when the launch date is yet so, it's going to be interesting, but, like, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now we're in Halloween Town. Good old Jack Skellington. I know I heard some noises back there. No. I was like, I hear some, I hear some beats. We're going to Christmas Town. We're going to miss it. It's all snow. But, like, you get to see, like, a plethora of friggin' Disney characters throughout the whole series. Uh, they usually, through the main series, they keep a lot of the, uh, the main worlds. Like, Halloween Town, I think, is in every one of them. Um. Atlantis. Agrabah, usually... Like, they keep a lot of the, the big, big ones, and then they slowly start adding more in. Like, 3 has Big Hero 6 kind of thing. Uh, this one, they added... I'm trying to think of which ones they added in. Uh, Mulan was added for 2. The gameplay for 4, I don't think, is out yet. Uh, gameplay, obviously, for the other ones is, because they, they exist... But, like, it's it's just insane with the leaps and bounds they're making for, for this.
Same with uh, Final Fantasy 16 is being worked on right now, so that's another big one. Um, <coughs> let's see what we got on the go. Messing with the gravestones is bad luck. Well, shit. Haha! -ha, not gonna get me. That's what I thought. Uh, I guess I'll go to... I think this is town. Let's see what we got on the go. <laughs> Where is everybody? There's a random duck there. I wish I knew. With his skeletal reindeer. And his garbage can of goodies. Ah, oh, good old Christmas town. Kidnapping Sandy Claus, put him in a box. That's my kind of Christmas. Okay, Jack. Who doesn't love a Halloween Christmas? It's just the way it should always be. The costume designs for the characters in this are really good too. Like Sora, Donald, and Goofy for most of the, uh, the worlds they go in, they're supposed to blend in. So they get like their outfits to blend into the world that they're in so usually when you go to atlantis you're a mermaid halloween town obviously we're zombie like and monster like etc etc some of them you're just your normal self wish i could scratch my brain sometimes No. Looks like you're reading. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, what games have you been playing lately, Snipes? Oh, things are exploding. Just how they should. Sorry, Doctor. It's just how it works. Been playing with the building or without the building? <laughs> ah, gotcha, gotcha. Without, of course. Yes, yes. I remember the... F I, I never got into Fortnite strictly because of the building. Like, I played it for, like, I think it was, like, a half an hour. And, like, 
you know, sneaking up on this one guy, and it was before I think I really got into Apex, sneaking up on this one guy and friggin' start to shoot him, and then he builds a house and then just ducked out the back and ran. So when I got up to the house to, like, try and get him, he was gone. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, good. There we go. Abilities. What did you get? Oh, aerial finish. Okay. Yeah, I'm not... I don't like the building either. So I do not... Do not blame you at all. How much do I need for Goofy? One. Uh, five... I'm ice, I'm ice. Oh, I only got a couple of those. Well then. Uh, what do you got, Goofy? No, I'm going to save for that. I need one more. Yeah, I've been trying to get back into Apex more. I was going to try friggin' to see how far I could get in ranked, but I just can't can't get teamed up with anybody enough. And, like, I refuse to do randoms because that's just terrible. But, like, right now I want to get in just so I can uh, do my Battle Pass stuff so I can get, like, the really fancy skins and stuff because Bloodhound has this insane skin in the battle pass it's nuts like there's this one out that's like another uh like it's basically like an heirloom skin and you get like a fancy finisher with it but like the battle pass skin is 10 times better So I find it absolutely hilarious that they ended up doing that. They're like, yeah, look at this. this is a fancy, fancy skin that evolves as you do the, the things you're supposed to for it. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, and here's this Battle Pass skin that looks insanely better. And she's like, what? Gonna get this box because it's there. Yeah, like, uh. So, but, like, friggin', my duo partner has been busy with other games, so it's hard to get him in there so we can just, you know, chill out, do some battle pass things. Oh yeah, I gotta friggin' put my new equipment on. I am. You're way too happy, Jack. <laughs> oh, do you do Apex 2 snipes? There they go in the walking toilet, bathtub. Is that you, Maleficent? Yes, of course it is. A witch? Green fire. Bring back the Oogie Boogie. Oh. Why is Apex a no-no? Items. Nope. Okay, so let's see. 
that's not good. Okay. There's nothing wrong with Apex Snipes. I don't find it's really changed. But, like, that's just my opinion. Like, obviously there's new legends. <coughs> Wait a minute. Ah, uh, pieces. Okay, maybe they don't do anything. Yeah, I just thought, I, I still find it, like, the same. Like, obviously, you know, certain things are a little bit different. But, like, in terms of, like, how it plays, I don't really see a big difference. Oh, that does damage. Let's not stand on that. Do, 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 do. Oh. But I also don't analyze it the same as, like, other people who are, like, very competitive with, like, Fortnite and Apex are. I didn't mean to hit that. I just wanted to open the box. Oh, that's a chain shot, so I can't even go that way. Cause like I usually I usually don't like I guess stress about it too much. Like I'm very, very relaxed when it comes to playing Apex. I do it to have a good time and have some fun if I get the odd win or whatever, or like I have a good like kill streak. Yeah, kill streak using COD terms. But like if I get like a decent amount of kills in a match, like I'm excited. But like that's usually why I'm excited is because I I don't give a shit. Like if I lose, I lose. <coughs> if I get killed off drop, I'm just like yeah, whatever. Now before I go to the Christmas town, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I shall be right back.
Oh yeah, no, I can I can understand that like a hundred percent, Snipes. Like if you like, that's why like I find like some people like are very strict with what they do for games like that. Like there's a bunch of them out there right now. Uh, oh no, this is my graduation thing. But yeah, because like you know some people are very hundred percent Fortnite. Some people are very one hundred percent, you know. Warzone. Some people are 100% uh, Apex, and they don't switch back and forth because they're like, well, I don't like this. And that's no fault of anybody's. That's, like, personal preference. It's the same with any games. It's like, some people don't like turn-based RPGs. And, like, I'm very, very pro turn-based RPGs. They're the ones that I... <coughs> I miss, and I wish they would make more of. <laughs> uh, let's see, Friday, June 10th. 10 a.m. graduates must go to the Member 2 Sports and Wellness Center. Uh, let's go there. Okay. Grad list postings, Monday, June 6th. Excellent. I shall keep that. For I am the graduating student. I now do the the plumbing of sorts. But um, you know, it's just like that new uh. Well, exact. Not to mention, like, Fortnite's probably not as broken as Warzone tends to be. <laughs> Goofy's a reindeer. <laughs> 